Hi, everybody. All right, so we're working still with the fuel line from the other side of the engine. We're using it on this side to sort of play test fitting scenarios. Here we're putting some Adele clamps on uh, just to make sure that the fuel line, as it goes through the baffles, doesn't touch any of the engine or the engine, uh, engine mount or the uh, coil packs or anything like that. And when we're happy with that, now we're down here working on the pl final placement of the fuel filter. If you look in the upper right or the upper left center there, you'll see the blue A-in fitting sticking out of the firewall with a crimped piece of line to make sure it's airtight. That is where the fuel line will come out and go towards this fuel filter. Now, I realize this is a very poor angle. Uh, I, I couldn't think of any place to put the camera, right? Because if I put it on the ground underneath, it's too far away, and I really wanted to get it up close, and this is about as good as it got. It's basically sitting on the oil cooler, or half-done oil cooler. In fact, here, you know what? Here's a, here's a picture of the final placement of what that fuel filter is going to look like. Well, current placement. Uh, I still have to put the two lines in for the oil cooler. I want to see how those fit. But I'm pretty confident that that's going to be out of the way. Now, there is one thing about the Adele clamps that I will make a note. So unlike the rest of the Adele clamps throughout the rest of the plane, like on the back side of the firewall, all the Adele clamps on the front side of the firewall are put in place with AN hardware. I know in some other places, Vans tells you to use uh, like stainless steel uh, screws and lock washers, and you know, there's nothing, I'm not lock washers, lock nuts. There's nothing wrong with that. But on this side of the firewall, I want to make sure that there's no nylock anything, right? All metal. So I've got AN three bolts, uh, combined with uh, jet nuts, or MS21043, something like that. And after, so you can see I'm putting that in here. And after this, I'm, I, you know, I'm pretty happy. It's, it does, it's not going anywhere. I've got two clamps on that filter, uh, and you can, you can grip onto it and try to shove it back and forth, and it's not moving. So. Two A&Ps looked at it, and they were pretty happy. Okay, so now that we're sort of happy with that, now it's time to put the fuel regulator into its final place on the firewall, which I will get to here in just a second. Uh, as the line that comes out of the number four cylinder goes through the back baffles, it is going to turn downwards and then mount into the fuel pressure regulator. Uh, it needs a 45 degree angle to fit, which I just happened to get right the first time. And then the line from the fuel pressure reg regulator to the firewall port that is the return line is about mm, three and a half, four inches. So I've just made a solid line out of 50-52 uh, flared, and I'm going to be wrapping that with some Strataflex later. This is just me mounting it properly to the firewall in the right place, making sure it's good. So the fuel pressure regulator that we're using in this system has four components. Uh, I should find a picture of it somewhere. Uh, there's the inline, so the fuel input line and then the fuel output line out to the uh, tanks. There's the set screw that you use to adjust the fuel pressure. And, uh, oh, actually there's two more things, sorry. There's a vacuum port. So again, because we have no mass airflow uh, like a regular car, uh, instead we are teeing off one of those vacuum lines that comes out of the throttle body to the fuel pressure regulator itself. So it sort of shares the same atmospheric pressure as the air intake. And also the bottom of it has another port or another AN port where you can put a line or a connector to hook to a fuel pressure sensor. We are actually going to mount that fuel pressure sensor directly to it, which will be in another video, so we'll talk about that later. Anyway, in the next several videos, we're going to be uh, finishing up the EFI wiring harness. So thank you for joining me, everyone. See you soon.